My name is Elena, I'm SharePoint developer for a very long time, but today I'm going to be a developer guy, so we'll try to speed up our build by uh, using a parallel job in Azure DevOps. So this is uh, like a follow-up on a previous session, so it's not basics. If you want to go from the very beginning, you should visit those URLs, because today we will not cover any, any basics, and I'll go with uh, uh, weird terms, and if you don't understand them, just feel free to go into your previous videos and understand what it is. So, uh, in, in the previous demo, I've showed you how you can build two packages. And uh, those two packages are pulled from the source control that is in GitHub. Oh, I can remove the thing. And, and if you go here, you see that I'm building two separate ASPFX packages here, and I have also released which so I'll be using the release pipeline. But the way I'm doing it is I'm doing those two packages in a sequence. So I have to wait a minute, 30, uh, 23 seconds here, so NPM will install all the packages for to be able to build the first solution. And then I have to wait another minute here, and all this can be done in a parallel. So we don't have to wait all that execution, because in case we have 10 different solutions, that might take forever. So we have a, a so-called parallel jobs in Azure DevOps, uh, DevOps and like here, I will just open that one to show you how it looks. Basically, we might have three, four, whatever you like, jobs executing in parallel, and in those jobs, the tasks, if the tasks are not dependent between each other, they can run at the same time, and that might dramatically speed your, your meal. So, I'll just do a quick change, and I'll try to raise Windows versus Linux, because previously we talked about that and we were wondering whether Node.js will run faster on Windows or on Linux. Uh, there was a discussion, so today I'll, I'll, I'll just raise those two. Basically, that dev job will run on Windows, and that is basically building a SPPKG. So I'm not really and the prod job is building another SPPKG. So those two do almost the same. Uh, they do npm install, they do go, go bundle, go ship, if you see here, and uh, there's only one difference that I've put on the node, uh, on, on the Linux side, where the Linux will do an extra task here. So we'll raise those two, I'll just do a change here in my code, I'll just change that to version 2, and we'll see how this will perform. I'm using the hosted machines that Microsoft provides, so we'll just raise the hosted machines and see how, how, how that map goes up. So that will start the build once the code goes into the source control, and we'll see how this is running, and while this is running, I'll also show you how I build that. Like, while we're waiting previously, in, in the previous session, that's my, uh, 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 no, that's not, so it's that one. In my previous session, I've shown you how to build it in sequence, and basically you have task, task, one after the other. So script, task, and everything is top to bottom, task after task, and that's executed in a sequence. Now the difference with that is a little bit different syntax, where you split the task into different groups, and on top of those different groups you have just jobs, and after the jobs you have that specific job. Underneath you decide what will be your uh, compute virtual machine to do the work, and then you have your tasks at the bottom here. And then you have another job to do the other parallel, uh, the, the parallel job, and you have tasks there. So they will run at the same time, probably they've already started, uh, but I have to go back to my builds and see what's happening. So the, the build is running, um, and those are running in parallel. So as you can see, the release script is already done because all I'm doing here, I'm doing a zip file with my bash script and the, the CLI script, Office 365 CLI script that I need. So that is a very quick thing, but those two now are racing. They started almost at the same time. And one is using Windows, the other is using uh, Linux. Let's see what is happening here. We are on uh, the NPM install phase. Uh, that one is also on the NPM install phase. So after these are done, um, so the build will we'll just create uh, three artifacts here. One artifact will we, we, we'll be with the list, the two one will be just different packages. Um, 
Ok? Almost there. Um, yeah, so all these, uh, uh, the whole definition is uh, in the samples library. So you can grab those and see what is the difference between the jobs running in parallel and the jobs running in a sequence. You can test it by yourself because all I'm using is I'm using the three tier uh, implementation between GitHub and Azure Pipelines. So all that can be tested. You just have to find the sample and all these definition and test it by yourself. And here we should be done. Okay, so the job's completed, almost. Ah, so we're bundling the packages now. That should be done in a few seconds. As you can see, the second one completed. So since uh, the Windows hosted machines completed faster than the Windows hosted machines, and we are still waiting the, the bundle and the build process here, so we can compare the time. It's, it's like it took 1 minute 49 seconds. But you can, you can put your hands on, on your uh, ears if you like. Because, yeah. uh, but uh, like 1 minute 94 for the Linux host machine and, and 2 minutes 18 for the Windows host machine. Now, disclaimer, because we're using the host machines. And that's highly dependent on the hardware on that machine. You might have a virtual machine that is, that is a high spec on Windows and obviously that will perform way, way better. So that, that uh, race doesn't prove anything. But if you're using the hosted machines, you might consider Ubuntu for some reason if you're building 100 solution packages, for example, my speed up uh, for you. But that's in general, basically at the end of the build uh, is that it's job I have two packages built in parallel and the release script is being built in a third job. And the whole thing uh, takes roughly two minutes because everything is done in parallel as compared to the previous one that will take three minutes. So that's very beneficial for just big builds with multiple solutions. Okay? One thing to add, I was reading, reading the Twitter and Introverse last week that uh, Node.js and NPM 10, the 10 version, is, has improved a lot for Windows first. So I don't know what version of Node.js. Well, that's version A because that's what uh, SharePoint is right. for. Yes. But apparently that has more improvements to Windows first. So, so that's a uh, we, we have that on the room, and let's get it recorded for the community call members. So, so the question was around the Node version. We still support an SPFX Node version 8. Uh, how about when do we might uh, upgrade to 10? That wasn't what I was going to talk about, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand up and I got asked a question. Uh, so right now, internally, we use 8 and we're moving towards 10, so it shouldn't be too too long. Um, what I was going to say, though, is so there's a tool called Rush uh, that we produce that is effectively specifically for this. It will spider through a large repository. It'll build all your packages in parallel. Um, it'll manage all the uh, node module references to have only a single set for the entire solution. Um, so that's what we use for our build tools. It's public. It's what other people use. Uh, we just need to document how it works well with this, or with SPFX. Yeah. Uh, so what we might try and do is grab some of the uh, PMP directories and rush by them and put that out as an example. Yeah. yeah. So uh, just to recap on that one, so just repeating the same one that I uh, was saying. So that the, we're using Rush. Rush is something which our engineering created to manage the large SPFX release uh, pipelines, and basically, but it's it's and it is partly documented, but it's not well known. Let's put it this way. Yeah, and it's it's on GitHub, it's on NPM, it's public and uh, oh, maintained sorry. by the community and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but we'll get that one documented. And upgrading to Node version 10 is in progress. It wasn't part of the 1.8. Uh, it will be uh, probably in 1.9, but uh, most likely. But let's not promise that yet. Yeah, I mean, chances are it's just removing the check that says, hey, what version are you using? But we want to make sure that there's no gotchas somewhere in the build tools that mess up on it. Yeah, so good job. Good job. <laughs>